Hello, you are looking at the transformer here. Do you know that the transformer core, the soft iron core, is actually made out of laminated iron sheets? Meaning the iron core is not one solid iron core. It's actually assembled from many, many tiny iron sheets called laminations. And the surface of each lamination is coated with some oxide or some varnish, something that's an electrical insulator. So what are these laminations for? Let's consider this cross section here. Now remember there's alternating magnetic flux flowing through the iron core, right? So if you look in this direction into the cross sectional area, then you will see a alternating magnetic flux that's going in and out of the screen, right? The magnetic flux is going left, right, left, right, left, right. When you view this way, it's going in, out, in, out, in, out. This alternating magnetic flux is the reason for the induced EMF and induced currents in both the coils. So this same alternating flux is going to cause induced EMF and induced currents in this cross section. If there are no laminations, then the current is free to flow whichever they want, right? So the resulting current will look like this. It's a current that keeps switching direction and the circular loops make it look like eddy currents. So guess what they are called? Eddy currents. And these eddy currents occur in every cross-sectioner throughout the core. So you have eddy current here, 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 all over the core. And we don't like these eddy currents because they result in I square R losses in the iron core, meaning the iron core will get hot. But more importantly, this represents some power loss because this additional power must be drawn from the primary supply, meaning the power drawn from the primary supply is not all delivered to the load on the secondary coil, but instead some is lost heating up the core. So do you get an idea what the laminations are for now? So what you see now is the cross section with the laminations. So remember, these are oxides or some varnish that doesn't conduct electricity. So current is not allowed to pass between laminations. You'll still be having the same alternating magnetic flux, but now the eddy currents will look like this. So instead of one big loop, the eddy currents are confined to flow in smaller loops. Let's do a very rough analysis of the power loss due to eddy currents without and with laminations. So notice uh, I've drawn a squarish cross-sectional area. It, it used to be rectangular just now, right? Because I realized the squarish one is easier to analyze, but I'm too lazy to redraw the diagrams again. Okay, let's say the original power loss due to eddy current is P is equal to V squared over R. With laminations, we have smaller current loops, but more of them, right? So the total power loss due to eddy current will be n. n represents the number of laminations. In this diagram, it will be four laminations, but of course in actual transformers, n will be much larger. And the power loss for each loop, let's write it as v prime squared divided by r prime. So v prime will represent the induced EMF for each current loop. So compared to this big loop, the EMF for each small loop should be divided by n. Because the induced EMF depends on the rate of change of magnetic flux linkage, right? The amount of flux captured in this area will be smaller than the amount of flux captured by this area divided by n. So we can write V prime as V divided by n. Now let's look at R prime. This is the resistance faced by the eddy current. And let's think rho L over A. Remember, resistance of conductor is given by rho L over A. Let's think about L first. The L here looks like four segments, right? four segments. The L here is actually shorter. Let's say the L here is about half the L here. So the resistance is actually smaller by a factor of 2. But then there's the cross-sectional area also, right? So the current here is facing a cross-sectional area of this, right? Roughly speaking, this. Whereas the current here is facing a much, much smaller cross-sectional area. So R prime, we can write it as N over 2 R. The R is smaller because of a shorter L, but it's larger because of a smaller cross-sectional area. Now you can pick up the original V squared divided by R and then simplify all the other terms. You end up with P divided by N squared divided by 2. So if you use just 20 laminations, so if N is equal to 20, you can reduce the power loss due to eddy current by about 20 squared divided by 2, about 200 times, which is amazing. Now for the A level, you are not required to do any analysis like this. You just have to explain that the laminations restricts to eddy current to flow within each lamination, which effectively reduces the magnitude of the induced current. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!